you I didn't clock you on for pulling that stump before. Oh, what's the matter, Damon? You feeling insecure about your little speakers? <laughs> Dude, in his far he's dressed as a pimp, making me feel insecure. I don't think so. Hey, you might be a little bit retro, but this is designer gear, sunshine. Retro? You could flog that thing on Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> what's next on that throwback mixtape, Tony? Sir Cliff Richard? Oh, you could even go all out with a bit of bait over. Hey, Tony! Hey. <laughs> in a few hours, the dog's gonna be off the leash. <laughs> Can this day get any weirder? Oh, you're having a 90s fancy dress party. Ingenious. No. Check out who Tony's booked to DJ at the dog. No, you haven't. You know, I've never met the guy. But Diane's Aunt Nelly used to be a cleaner at the Hacienda. Hmm? She called in a favour. Oh, everyone's talking about it. I also need tickets for Imran, Romeo and Pez. Oh, we'll step this way, sir. You know, you teeny bobbers enjoy your day in the sunshine, cos as of today, my pub is the hottest ticket in town. Ooh! <laughs> OK, so Tony's booked Flash DJ for an afternoon set. Doesn't mean he's gonna run us out of business. Well, not overnight, no. But all they need is one hit event to take off. That's how Pasha started. The dog in the pond isn't gonna be the next Pasha. Said McDonald's when some old dude in Kentucky started frying chicken. We need a big name act. The DJ equivalent of a red hot chicken burger. We can't afford a DJ. You know, the relaunch might have paid off some of our debts, but we're still in the red. I mean, we can't even afford to get flyers, and I'm not taking any more money off you after selling the Emporium. Okay, but it doesn't mean we still can't make the love boat a success. Lib's right. Tony might be bouncing back with a top DJ, but look at the numbers we've already pulled in this week. Me and Sid will hit the streets and we will promote this place with everything we've got and we will show those old timers what a proper party is. Go on, the love boat. Lizzie, I really appreciate what you've done for us and I mean that, but it's pointless. You know, unless a DJ drops from the sky and offers to do a free set for us, well, I'm gonna have to let you and Sid go. What can I do for you? I see you staring through. Or do you want it to help? There's only lines to lose.